Now let's talk about analytics. And it's very important to keep an eye on the analytics of your API management in the production instance so you can understand what's going on in your API management. Now let's go ahead and increase the time range for these graphs. And as you can see here, the first graph shows the number of requests our API management had received over this time range. Total number of requests, successful ones, failed ones, unauthorized requests, which is very, very important, and you need to keep an eye on it. Unauthorized requests are simply requests that are not authorized to call our APIs, maybe because the consumer is using the wrong subscription key, or maybe because someone is trying to attack our APIs. That's why it's really important to set up the right alerts to notify you if the number of unauthorized requests exceeds a certain limit. So then you can go ahead and check if they are really a genuine requests or it's someone that's trying to break your APIs and then you can react on that, notify your security team and networking team to protect your APIs or block this danger from your API management. Moving to the next chart here shows the amount of data transferred through our API management and now the response time chart. And this chart shows the average response time and average service response time for the API management. And to understand the difference between both, let's go back to our APIs. Now let's go to LinkedIn Profile API and let's go to Get Jobs. So the response time is the overall time is going to be required from the API management to fulfill requests. Starting from receiving a request, applying the inbound policies, and then passing the request to the backend function to process it and get the result, passing it through the outbound processing policies, and then return the result to the consumer. All of this is the response time. However, the service response time is the time that's required from the backend service to respond to a certain request. So having these two times split up this way, it will help you to understand where the performance bottleneck is coming from. Is it because the backend service is taking too long to execute a certain request? Or is it because you are applying too many inbound and outbound policies to your API that make the overall response time for your API slower? And this will give you some pointers so you can go ahead and improve the performance of your API. And finally, here we have the cache chart, and that shows us how many times you have got cache hit and cache missed. And always you want to aim to have as many cache hits as possible, because this is going to improve the overall performance of your API. Now moving to the geography. And what I want you to notice here is the total number of requests we are getting per country. And as you can see here, we are receiving more than 500 requests coming from the United States, which is far more than any other requests coming from other countries. And what this tell us is that when we go ahead and provision our API management, it might make sense to provision our API management in an American region, because this is where most of our traffic is coming from. However, if we have an even number and getting too many requests from all countries around the world, it will make more sense to go ahead and provision an additional instance of our API management. As you can see here, I have only one primary instance for my API management hosted in Australian East region. And I can, based on my pricing tier, I can go ahead and provision another instance of my API management in the American region to make the experience and performance much better for the American customers. And also what you can take away from this view is the number of countries that are accessing your APIs. And if, for example, you don't have any customer base in Turkey and you are getting requests from Turkey, it might be a red flag for you to investigate and see where this traffic is coming from, is it genuine or not, based on the fact that there is no customers for you in Turkey. Now let's go to APIs. And this is where you are able to see this information grouped by APIs. Also grouped by operations so you get a more detailed view of how many requests and the average response time per operation in your API management. Same information grouped by product, subscription, users, and at the end 
you are able to see the different requests and response code that's been called to your API management. That's it for this lecture, I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.